Assembled guests, please stand. Her Excellency, the Right Honourable Dame Cindy Kello, Governor General of New Zealand. Please be seated. Kia ora tātou katoa. Nau mai haramai ki te whare kawana o Tāmaki Makaurau. Tālo Falawa, Malola Lei, Kia ora na, Nisan Bulavanaka, Namaste, Nihau, and G'day if you're from Australia. <laughs> Distinguished guests, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to Government House for today's investiture ceremony. I'd like to specifically acknowledge the Honourable Calvin Davis, Minister of the Crown, Mr. Joe Horiwira, Komatua, Dr. Hidia Hape, Kuiya. Hosting investiture ceremonies is one of the most important duties that I perform on behalf of Her Majesty, the Queen of New Zealand. I'm delighted to bring together such an extraordinary group of New Zealanders. You have each brought pride and a greater sense of well-being to Aotearoa New Zealand. Through your achievements and your service to our communities, on behalf of all New Zealanders, I extend my sincerest thanks to you for your contributions. After each recipient is honoured, I invite you to join with me in congratulating them. Mr Ward Carmel will now summon the recipients and read their citations. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mrs Tangihaere Harihari Hughes of Rotorua for services to Māori and youth. Tangihaere Harihari Hughes was president of the New Zealand Māori Wardens Association. She organised three teams of Māori wardens to assist following the 2010 Christchurch earthquake. She is regional manager for Māori wardens districts of Tauranga Moana, Waiariki and Rotorua Youth Court Lay Advocates. She organises a Māori women's team to assist at the annual secondary school Wakaama competition. She helped establish a Māori women's branch in Brisbane. She is a member of the Bay of Plenty and Rotorua Police Advisory Board and a nominated person for Rotorua Police Interviews with the Youth. She was involved with Te Arawa Land Claim via Te Pumotanga o Te Arawa and chaired the Ngāti Rōmei Iwi Trust Land Claim. Mrs Hari Hari Hughes was Regional Manager of Waiariki Māori Women's Welfare League. Mrs. Tangihaere Hari Hari Hughes, please come forward.
Dr. Gordon Nicholson of Auckland for services to health in the community. Dr. Gordon Nicholson is a gastroenterologist specialist with Auckland Hospital since 1965. He helped establish the first alcohol and drug ward in Auckland Hospital. He has mentored and taught students and junior doctors. He initiated and was a founding member of Medical Aid Abroad, which sends medication, equipment and aid to nations in need. He was regional coordinator of Doctors Health Advisory Service and established the mental health program Doctors for Doctors. He volunteers with Bridge Builders Trust, which supports refugees in association with Māngere Refugee Centre in Auckland. He works with New Settlers Family and Community Trust, supplying information, food, household goods, driving lessons and other services. He has been involved in environmental organisations and community gardens. Dr Nicholson contributed to the Opotere Ratepayers and Residents Association for many years. Dr Gordon Nicholson, please come forward. Mrs. Bridget Snedden of Auckland for services to people with learning disabilities. Bridget Snedden has been involved with supporting disabled people since the birth of her son with Down syndrome in 1988. As a parent and committee member of the Auckland Down Syndrome Association, she advocated for children with Down syndrome to have the same opportunities and experiences as every other child. She was National Coordinator of the New Zealand Down Syndrome Association. She was Centre Director of Parent and Family Resource Centre, now Disability Connect, and a Spectrum Care Board member. She is President of Down Syndrome International, having previously been Vice President and a Trustee and Board member. Mrs Snedden initiated the founding of Family Network New Zealand, a non-profit agency working alongside parents who have a family member with learning disabilities to create and lead inclusive and self-directed lives. Mrs Bridget Snedden, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr Ross Everest of Rotorua, for services to rugby. 
Ross Everest is a team manager of the All Black Sevens rugby team. Under his leadership, All Black Sevens players have won the World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year on five occasions. The All Black Sevens have regularly competed in the World Rugby Sevens World Series circuit, winning 13 of the 21 events to date and are current champions of the Rugby World Cup Sevens, the Commonwealth Games and World Series. They have won three World Cup titles, four Commonwealth gold medals and one Olympic silver medal. Mr Everest's support and mentorship has contributed to the success of the team and helped inspire the younger generation into the sport. Mr Ross Everest, please come forward. Dr. Linita Manuatu of Auckland for services to Pacific education and the Tongan community. Dr. Linita Manuatu has had an academic career with Auckland universities and holds an executive leadership role at Api Whakakoloa, home based educational services running professional development for educators. She is published in the areas of Indigenous and Migrant Education and Language a culture and education. She chairs the Tongan Language Week organising committee. She wrote a book on Tongan language and culture in New Zealand. She led development of the Bachelor of Education, Pacifica Early Childhood Teaching degree. She worked for the Tongan government to develop a degree for Tongan early childhood teaching. Dr Manuatu has contributed to the New Zealand Association for Research and Education NZARE on the Pacifica Caucus. Dr. Linita Manuatu, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal, Mrs. Pushpa Prasad of Honganui for services to the community. Pushpa Prasad formed the Multicultural Indian Society with the aim of organising cultural events to engage youth and promote the use of their mother tongues. The Society has branched out to several regions and she has helped the migrant community by providing English classes, career guidance, education, driving lessons and support to first-time mothers. She is currently president of the Honganui branch. She was a tutor with YMCA and is a member of the Festival of Cultures. She is a founding member, treasurer and secretary of Satsang Ramayan Mandali Central. Mrs Prasad is secretary of Multicultural New Zealand Women's Wing. Mrs Pushpa Prasad, please come forward.
Mr. John Wyatt and Mrs. Sandra Wyatt of Kaikoura for services to the community. John Wyatt and Sandra Wyatt are respectively President and Trustee of the Board of Kaikoura Community Theatre, overseeing the governance of the Mayfair Theatre. Following the Kaikoura 2016 earthquake, when the theatre was facing demolition, they led volunteers through a programme of fundraising and planning to commence the rebuild, with Mr Wyatt assuming the role of project manager. Mrs Wyatt helped create Mobile Mayfair, so the community could still watch movie releases. The newly restored Mayfair Arts and Culture Centre was officially opened in 2020. Mr and Mrs Wyatt have been involved with the Kaikoura Lions Clubs, Kaikoura High School and Civil Defence, and they continue to support projects and endeavours to revive earthquake-damaged Kaikoura. Mr John Wyatt and Mrs Sandra Wyatt, please come forward. Your Excellency, the investiture has concluded. New Zealand's honours system is our highest public affirmation of outstanding individual achievement. It reinforces those things that make our society better. Service, manaakitanga and the pursuit of excellence. To our recipients, it has been a privilege to hear your stories. You have each used your talents and abilities to improve the lives of other New Zealanders. And in doing so, you embody the spirit of the Whakatauki. Manaki whenua, manaki tangata, haere whakamua. Care for the land, care for the people, and go forward. I urge recipients to wear your insignia with pride at every opportunity, knowing that you inspire others by your example. On behalf of the Queen of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you on your achievements and I thank you once again for your contribution to our country. Kia ora, huhi mai tātou katoa. Now you will see on the inside of the programme the words to the national anthem in Te Reo Māori and in English. I now invite you to stand with me and sing them both. <laughs> <laughs> 